For the use of the remaining plywood mill lands, the city will lease lots A and B to the Port Alberni Port Authority, who will then rent the land to Canadian Alberni Engineering. Port Authority spokesman David McCormick says it's a return to the ship repair industry that's been an important part of Port Alberni's economy in the past. Uh, excited and enthusiastic that the city has made uh, the decision to work with the Port Authority to encourage the growth and expansion of one of our core industries in Port Alberni that uh, over time has seen a decline and now we have an opportunity to work with a business that has chosen to come to Port Alberni and look at growth and expansion opportunities here. McCormick says the long-term lease they're preparing to sign with Alberni Engineering is a perfect fit for the Port Alberni waterfront and is in line with the city's vision for economic growth. Dozens of people came to Echo Center last night to compare their visions of Canal Beach. Sandra Gentleman says the city needs to capitalize on one of its only waterfront areas and make it a hub of local activities. Since uh, the city purchased the land for a dollar back in uh, 1993, um, we might as well clean it up and beautify it, especially since they've invested um, $90,000 in uh, the beach and let's uh, expand and just uh, the whole pilot site could be a beautiful beach park, just like Ladysmith Transfer Beach Park, which used to be an industry site too. She said only 5% of the Alberni waterfront is city-owned and hopes the entire plywood lands can be a park and green space for future generations. The city is organizing a beach cleanup event on Saturday and is encouraging more people to come out and share their visions for the area.